This is Abdul. If you're following me from the last video, we have created a developer sandbox account for our Microsoft 365 lab practice. Then we also attached a subscription to it using a different trick. But there are certain scenarios you cannot practice using developer sandbox. That's a limitation of the sandbox. For example, the Microsoft Teams calling plan, you cannot practice using a developer sandbox account. Similarly, for the auto attendance or call queue, you cannot have a add-on subscription in your 365 sandbox. So in that case, you will be forced to create an additional actual account account by linking your debit card. So we'll see how we can create an actual account. Of course, the license that you purchase using the actual account always will have an expiry. So after a few months, it will get expired unless you renew it. So that is enough for us to practice. All right. So I'll show you what we have done so far. So initially, we created a Gmail account. With that Gmail account, we signed into Developer Sandbox program. That is this, which is developer.microsoft.com. And then you go to Developer Program and go to My Dashboard. Here you can see I actually logged in with my Gmail account. Basically, with the Gmail account, they created a Microsoft account when I signed up for the Developer Sandbox program. I have 73 days left in my sandbox and they offers me an eFi renewable subscription and they also gave me a user ID login to admin.microsoft.com. That is one thing. And with the same Gmail account, if I log into portal.azure.com, I can see an intro ID there and I can see just one user account created. Basically, when you create a Microsoft account, there will be an intro ID account already created. You can ignore the other one that's just a guest user. Ideally, you will see only one user. That's with your free account. So you have a Microsoft account already. Now let me show you the developer sandbox account which I got as part of the signup process. So I can log into admin.microsoft.com with this credential. So that is what here. By the way, when you do this, you have to have uh, at least three browsers. Otherwise you keep opening multiple tabs in same browser that will conflict. So either you open a private window or get three browsers lined up. So I have Chrome where I logged in with my Gmail based Microsoft account. And the second one, which is the Mozilla Firefox, this is my developer sandbox account. You can see that admin.ajdevelop.onmicrosoft.com. And if you go to building and your products, you will be able to see your Microsoft 365 e5 developer. Of course, this subscription does not have few extra features. The limitation of the sandbox is that you cannot purchase any add-on services. Say, for example, you need a calling plan. So even if you go to purchase services and type for calling plan don't see it and just like any other phone system services resource uh, licenses you cannot purchase any other extra license or add-on licenses from here you can see some other services but you cannot see anything related to phone system and other stuff so you have to go with the existing e5 whatever they offer you can practice those but if you feel like okay you need to have a fully functional account where you need to practice the calling plan as well as auto attend and call queue stuff you have to sign up for a real account so here also I can see my Azure AD. I logged in with the uh, AJ Develop on Microsoft account. Then the initial problem was I would not have any subscription here when I log in after getting the develop, developer sandbox. Of course, you get access to this portal, 365 admin center with the same credential. I can log into portal.azure.com, but I'll not be able to add any subscription there. Even if I go and uh, I do see one now that I'll tell you, but even if you go to add a subscription, they will tell you that you don't have eligibility to add extra subscription. Even you cannot add pay as you go subscription. Then you may ask the question, okay, why there is a subscription already here called my Canara Bank debit card pay as you go subscription. This is what exactly we have done in the last class. I created the subscription using the Gmail based Azure account and then transferred that uh, subscription back to my developer sandbox. Okay, so that is still there. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I will create a new account using the same card. I'll try to get a US based tenant because that's where we have all the services available. Then we'll do some tuning and tweaking so that we get a new tenant. Of course, for those lab practice, you have to log into a new tenant, Microsoft tenant altogether. So I'll be leveraging the Edge browser for this. And you have to go to this particular URL. You have an option called free trial here and the same link I will add it in the description below. So go ahead and click free trial and they're asking you to enter your mail ID. So let me give, I'll enter my Gmail ID here. This will be the email ID or the Microsoft account that you created your developer sandbox. So ajl115 at gmail.com is my initial mail ID that I have used for signing up for the developer program. I'm going to use the same account here. Click next, continue. Set up a new account and fill in the information. Try to select US itself because US tenant will have more features. Go ahead and click next. Then they want to authenticate you based on the country code. Let me select India and your mobile number will work here. Though you selected US country, but you can still authenticate with your Indian phone number. Send verification code. Verify. 
All right. Now they're asking you to create a specific domain and the way that you created in developer sandbox sign up, you created a domain name and then you got an account, right? So same way I'm creating now. I will use admin then AJ Dev Lab 2. I cannot use AJ Dev Lab uh, because it's already taken. So I can create AJ Dev Lab 2. It's saved. It's working. It will save. So your username for the new account will be admin at AJ Dev Lab 2.onmicrosoft.com. You can again map another domain name there that is still okay. So add your password and click next. So now you're signing up for a new 365 account and it's an EFI trial. That will be valid for two months. So you can practice all features until two months. And this is the place you need to uh, authenticate with your payment account. So since it is a trial account, you can go with 25. You are still paying zero dollar because it's a trial account and a payment method. So this is the catch here. When you add a payment account, you cannot change the country here. It will be always United States. But I try to add my Indian card. Sometimes it fails, sometimes it works. And there's a small trick which I followed. You can follow that. You can use this particular address while signing up here. Or if you can find out some other US address, that will also work. But I have tested with this address. So it's a US address. What I'm going to be doing is I'll be giving the same address here, US address here. Just that I'll give my Indian card here. Let's see if it works. If it works, that's really good. We copy all this. Now you have to enter your debit card, Indian debit card. Okay. So I usually don't enter any of my actual debit cards in any of the sign up process. I will have something called virtual card. In India, Canada Bank offers virtual debit card. It's still a debit card. You can add that. The sign up process I have given in the previous video. I'll also add the link here. Let me add that card here. I'm going to be pausing the video for some time. I'll add the card information. Then I'll click submit. I have added my Indian debit card here. It is still a virtual debit card. And the rest of the things are a US address. Okay. I'm going to click save and see if it works. Looks like it is working. Yes, it worked. I have an option here called start free trial. Of course, you will not be charged. I got a message from the Canada Bank saying that your card has debited INR 85 rupees. They charge $1. It may return back to me. It's okay. Now I got this details. This is my new tenants login. I need to save this. This is my user ID. I should be using this one to log in. Start using DeFi trial. You can ignore these steps and click exit setup. I'm going to be adding domain name later. So click exit setup. We'll exit from the initial setup wizard. Now what I see is completely functioning 365 count. If I go to billing and your products, I will be able to see my office 365 trial. Now go ahead and disable the recurring billing. So you can see that recurring billing is active and edit recurring billing and then turn it off. Otherwise what happens after the trial period gets over, they will charge you for the 25 users, which is 25 into $38, which will be a huge amount. And that goes from your debit card. And for a safety purpose, what I do is I will go and disable my virtual debit card. So even if I miss some billing stuff here, nobody can charge that. Now what I got is a US based tenant where I can see all other services. Let me show you that. Go to purchase services and then search for calling plan. Yes, you can see that Microsoft 365 domestic calling plan, calling plan for US and Canada trial. This option you don't see in the developer sandbox account. Then you ask me, what's the difference between developer sandbox and this actual tenant? So developer sandbox tenant, the E5, what you get as a developer sandbox program that will never expire. But the E5 you got as a trial here that will expire after two months. So to study everything, you have to have a developer sandbox. That will be like your lifelong account. But additional features, if you wanted to see some extra features, so if you wanted to buy an actual service and do labs, you can use this. It is still based out of US. You can do payments from your actual card as long as you have international transaction enabled. You can use your card and pay things from there. So this is the sign up process. We also need to add a domain name over here. If you go to setup, you can go to guided setup and then finish the process of adding the domain, which I'm going to be sharing in next video. So I have two accounts. One is the developer sandbox. That is about my permanent account. I can do all experiments there. When I don't see a specific service, I need an actual account where I can pay and purchase the licenses. This will be that account. In this video, what we have done is to bypass that the limitation of the developer sandbox, which you cannot purchase any new services. We created a new 365 account by going to that 365 e trial link. And then we continued the sign up process. And what I was doing is I used my Indian based debit card and a US address when I sign up then the sign up process completed. They charge $1 from my account. Of course, it will be returning back to that same account. Moreover, I'm using a virtual card. So I can disable that card anytime if I don't want to use it. Okay, so with this new account, you can practice your calling plan to attendant, all sort of things. All right, thank you guys. In next video, I will show you how to add the domain name.